Father God, we just praise you and glorify you. We magnify your name. You've been so kind and so wonderful to us. And we thank you for this hour that we are able, oh gracious God, to come and to look into your word. So we ask, oh gracious God, <clears throat> that whatever we are not doing, Lord God, that you will help us to zero in on those things that we may get it in line with you so that we can walk with you daily. And we know, oh gracious God, as we do that, as we love you first, then we can love others. And so, Father, we pray that as we study this word this day and to show how all things common was done, knowing that they had to have love for the cohesiveness to bind them together. So they were able, O oh gracious God, to reach the entire city that they were dwelling in. Father, we pray that we can do the same thing even here in Petersburg. And we ask, O oh gracious God, that you will help us to be able to reach out to others so that we can truly be the light and salt of the world. We pray this in Yeshua's name. If you all agree, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. <clears throat> um, as we look at this uh, chapter again, I just pray that you all are getting something out of the book of Acts because we are trying to show the essential things, not just how they did, but what we can do if we love and do the same thing one for another. Amen? Because that's what it's going to take. Uh, no one can operate like this because, uh, without love because this is the model. Did you all hear that? I said this is the model of how we need to be <clears throat> to take the world for the Lord. Amen? So, <clears throat> as we go back to this particular verse and read it. Uh, we want to be able to maybe glean something that we haven't gleaned before because this particular verse that we're looking at is tied into 1 Corinthians um, uh, 14 and 12, or 12 and 14, chapter 14 and chapter 12. And also Isaiah uh, 28. And there are other verses that goes along. I'm just trying to uh, give you some of the verses that these things are, are tied into. <clears throat> we just need to be, how many people should we be? One. Only one. In other words, when we love one another, it, 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 it binds us together as one people. Amen. And that don't sound good in English, does it? <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's what we're all about. We are one people. And that's what God wants us to be. Amen. So as we look at this particular verse, Again, we'll see it <clears throat> in Acts 2, 44. It says, and all that believe were together and had all things common. And I want you to, <clears throat> the verse that match with that um, is also one of the verses that I've just called out to you. Uh, where the people had to come together, being one, and with God showering 
his blessing of the Holy Spirit on them. Those who lived outside of Jerusalem, maybe many miles, had to travel many miles to get there. They enjoyed it so much, and even though they ran out of money, and they ran out of food, they ran out of everything, they didn't worry because they knew that other people who lived in the city loved them and that they would help take care of them until they could uh, go home. Amen? Is that good stuff or what? Wouldn't you rather like to be around people like that? So even if you travel for miles to go to another city to be with the church of the living God, you know that God, through those people, is going to take care of you. Oh, it, hey, does that sound good or what? Amen? See, this is how the church needs to be. Now, it's amazing, and I'll say this, how at a ball game, when our team is winning, everybody that is for your team, y'all can get along together and enjoy one another and share sodas, food, and everything. Come on now. <clears throat> oh, I ain't talking loud enough, am I? <laughs> But when we come to church, if the curtains is not my color that I want, and I got a problem with my sister or brother, who want another color? Come on, somebody. Somebody better help me right here. Huh? It is amazing. How we can let just little things that's almost meaningless take us over. But we don't realize what we are missing because in, inwardly we have turmoil instead of having love and peace and joy. Come on, somebody. And so we really need to begin to understand with the Spirit of God operating with you, when you feel the Spirit of God operating with you in your fellowship, that means that love is in the house. Come on, somebody. Love is in the house. Amen? But <clears throat> if you don't feel that love, if you feel an adverse verse spirit, Oh, uh, and you saying, oh, where did they come from this morning? Uh, where did they come from this evening? Uh, I mean, why are they here? They're here because of God. Come on, somebody. And we have to love one another in order to acquire the things of God. And so I, I just love this kind of teaching because every congregation need to come together in order to affect the world like we supposed to. Come on, somebody. If we don't, we're going to miss something. And when we miss each other, we're missing God because God is on the inside of each one of us who have accepted him. And so we misrepresent God when we <clears throat> don't get along one with the other. If you don't get anything else for the rest of your life, you need just what I just said. And it will carry you all the way through life. Amen? And so uh, you really have good footing if you love one another. Amen. So uh, <clears throat> looking at this particular verse, I'm going to ask that we would... Uh, 
uh, go to the part that we miss of the commentary. Uh, I think it's, uh, this was uh, not communion. Communism. Or communism, yes. This was not communism, yes. This was not communism in yeah. the modern sense. Yeah. Neither was it communal living. Yes. It was just Christian sharing. Yes. They all realized the importance of becoming established in the apostles' teaching, uh -huh. which today is in the written New Testament. Ah. Uh. Some of those from outside Jerusalem soon ran out of money. Uh -huh. So those who were able simply sold what they could to make it possible for these Christians to remain nearby. All right. Later, Peter made it clear that no one was under any compulsion to sell anything or give anything. Uh -huh. In verse 4, I'm sorry, 5, five verse chapter 4. Five. Yeah, verse 4. Amen. Now, this is so important. Bless you. Amen. This is so important because you hear what this is all about. See, God has his way. He set up this whole thing. Therefore, all of this is built on Ahav, Ahava. It's built on love. Amen. Did y'all hear that? This whole thing we are doing here. Every time you wake up in the morning and you're with your family who love you, uh, you know that everything is all right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I mean, even when you were a child and you hurt yourself, I don't care how bad you hurt yourself, but if you fall down and you, your parents might not know it and they might not be near you or in the same room, but if you wake up, um, you know, and you say, I hurt myself, and you start screaming, you're looking for your, your mommy and daddy, amen? Because you know they're going to do all they can for you and make this thing all right. So they know that love is in the house. Come on, somebody. <clears throat> And here's the key to this thing. Not that they're just in the house, but if I can just get close to them, whatever's hurting me hurt less. Yes. Oh, now y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, the moment they lay hands on you, now anybody get that term? Amen. What did I say? Anytime they lay hands on you, you already feel better. Amen. 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 Why? Because you know that that's love. Who cares? And <clears throat> know what, no matter what has happened to you or how you hurt yourself, just that laying on of hands of your parents make it less hurtful. They transmit their love. Yeah, that when that love is transmitted, oh, it does something to you. I don't care uh, what it is. Come on, somebody. Yes. Amen? See, this is the key to this thing. We cannot run the kingdom of God without love. No, we cannot. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are upset about in the house of the Lord. Please understand that God is there. Yes, yes. And you can make it through anything. 
if he, got, if, he, if he went through death with it, what do you think you can do? Come on, somebody. He said, on the third day, I'll what? I'll rise. Did he do it? That's what the Bible records, that that's what he did. Amen? So, what we are trying to get you to see, to have all things common, is to know that no matter what city I go to, if the people of God is there, I know I got somebody who care enough for me to uh, look out for me. Come on, everybody is not a crook. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Everybody don't hate you. And just because you got a few people who, who hate you, those who love you would help protect you. Come on, somebody. Folks, it's a key. What is it? A it's a key. And so, this is the reason why he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with what? All thy heart, all thy mind, soul, and strength. And then to do what? Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I know we're married, but I got to, got to love him first. Amen. Yeah, you got to do the same. He loves me better than you do. Oh, amen. Amen. He's amazing, wonderful, yeah. glorious, mighty, and powerful. Amen. All right, you got a whole he lot of. all that I need. All right. Amen. Can you all understand that, folks? See, once we key in on that, it doesn't make any difference who else is in the congregation. If you're in the love factor, you got things going that you can't get anywhere else or from anybody else. And until we understand that and make that number one, we can't love our wives, our husbands. We can't love nobody else. So don't let nobody tell you you love man first. No. If you don't love God first, you, you got everything out of order. Are you all kidding? Yes. You see? Now, <clears throat> because I've heard so many people say, child, I don't know what you're talking about. I might, I might not go to church, but I'm going to stay with my, I love my family. But, okay, listen, God can take care of your family whether you're there or not. And I don't know where we get that from. Because once we come to the Lord, he said, I and the Father would take a board where? In you. And can't nobody do that like God can. Amen. And so he's the cohesiveness on the inside of you that caused you to love everybody else. Oh, I, I, I pray to God, that we can get this, and all through life, you have the right order of love, and you can make it through life. Amen? Because he's the one that will call somebody, if you're not being treated right, he'll call somebody who do love you, and they might not even know you. Come on, somebody but they will come to your aid. So this is the kind of thing we are talking about. Now, uh, to, to drive this thing home a little bit further, how many remember Ananias and Sapphira? Amen. Amen. Ananias and Sapphira was right there in the book of Acts, 
And they decided how they were going to give, but they were going to hold something back for themselves. Come on, come on somebody. How many know God watches everything? He watches your love. Huh? Yeah, so they held back for themselves uh, some of the gift that they wanted to give. So they sold some property or whatever they had, and, and then they gave some uh, to the uh, church to help take care of people. During this particular time of the Holy Ghost, how in the world do you figure you're going to get away with something when the Holy Ghost is in, on the inside of you, watching even the way you think? And how many know that any kind of way you think, the angels have already written it down in the, in the journal. Come on, under your name. So you can't get away. You can't get away with anything because this is a what kind of factor? A love, a love factor. So ain't no use in thinking that you're going to get away with something. I don't care how much you love Joe Blow. Amen. Joe Blow can't save you. But you said, Joe Blow is my friend, but he's not on the inside of you. Come on now. So you're going to have to first get along with your Savior and then others because he is the one who cares, ahav, ahava. Come on, true love. Amen? So this is the key. So when they got where uh, the people that's full of the Holy Spirit and they act like they had given all of their gift uh, and they... They told him, said, look, you've lied to the Holy Ghost. You haven't given the whole thing. <laughs> lied to who? You, you've lied to God. <laughs> and they dropped dead, both of them. Amen. The husband and the wife, and they both came at different times trying to carry that same lie. And it was said by those who were receiving the gifts for the Lord, why do you think you can lie to the Holy Spirit? You know, I don't want God to have to say that to me. That's the reason why I tell people, especially in this congregation, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you run my name in the ground. It's one thing you're going to know. I'm going to love you anyhow. Because I'm not going to take that road because I know too much about what the words say about our God and our, his relationship with us. Come on, somebody. And I'm not about to damage that to lose my soul. Come on, somebody. Did y'all hear? I, hey, I've gotten too old to be a complete fool. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Because that ain't worth nothing. Come on now. Amen. And so don't be a complete fool. Because uh, our Lord is... Got the angels writing when? All the time, every moment. They keeping records on everybody. And that's enough to keep us in line with God. This is the reason why <clears throat> the book of Acts was so great. Because as the spirit of love came into them, they could love each other that they had never seen before. <laughs> Come on now. And could take care of them. So they trust God. They could sell their possessions and to make sure that these 
strangers as human beings were not strangers in the spirit of God. Come on, if, hey, if, if we can get churches to do this, COVID will not be a problem. What did I say? No, COVID will not be a problem. It would not be a danger. It would not be anything to the house of God. Our problem is the fear in the background where we don't love and we know our uh, real makeup as to where we are. And so we are afraid, so we use other things to try to make it up. But what we got to do is strip ourselves and say, hey, I know you love me, and I'm going to love you first. And you can fix the whole problem. Come on. Come on now. Because then you, you can drive that love throughout the community. Amen? Amen? So it's a powerful thing. Now, we're going to uh, uh, talk a little bit more as we go a little bit further about this. But I'm trying to drive our problems out of our lives. Are you all hearing that? That's what we're trying to do. All right, so they were able to take care of one another, and it's amazing how uh, Ananias and Sapphira dropped dead because they couldn't stay in the congregation with all that love. Come on now. They couldn't stay and cheat. So we got people in the house of the Lord that's still cheating. Come on now. But God's going to drive them out one day, and we're going to have a pure church. And I guarantee you, I don't care what you call it, germs, uh, plagues, I don't care what you call it, it's not going to enter. It will not enter. Amen? Because God will take care of you. Anybody remember that song? God take care of you through every day or oh, all the way he will take care of you God will take care of you see see I have to do that soprano there you go, go. come on she know it Amen. See, listen, folks. This is such a great hour to prove that God is who he say he is. And the church, praise God, mama. The church is, is running just like the world. Come on now. And we ought to be running to the house of God because there's, there's protection where the saints are. Uh, Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, if you're around the right kind of saints, you know that there's protection in the house, somebody. And so we are trying to make sure that we understand exactly where we stand with heaven. Come on, somebody. Uh, and so this is the key. Would you go a little further, please? <clears throat> but the fellowship, uh -huh. joy, love, and the example and teachings of Jesus made it easy for the believers to share what they had. Uh-huh. Okay, so um, we, we can see, it says, but the fellowship of joy and love, look, look at that, joy and what? Love. love. Ahav. Come on now. See, one thing about the Hebrew, when you're dealing with the Hebrew, 
it breaks it down where you can really understand exactly what it's saying if you get the true explanation of what this thing is about. This, this whole kingdom of God is set up on what? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. And so if we want it to work, when we go into the fellowship with the saints, if we don't walk in with love, we are contaminating the whole fellowship. I didn't say just my uh, friends or just this one or that one. I said we are contaminating who? The whole fellowship. This means the one you sitting beside you, you think is with you, <clears throat> when you come in with the wrong kind of basic for love, you'll find that the one you're sitting with you think is your friend, you are against them. Because it says, how can we say we love one another whom we're with and, or love God whom we're not with? Huh? Come on now. Yeah, we are liar. Folks, I'm trying to drive this home because this is the answer to your authority over the evil one. Anybody see? Anybody understand what I'm saying here? You cannot work the authority of heaven, of the kingdom of God, except you love. Because the authority is in the hands of those who love Ahav. Yes, God is love. And with God on the inside of you, I don't care what come against you, God will take care of you. Yes. You can, I started to say you can bank on that, but the bank ain't good enough because they, they might cheat you too. I don't know. Come on, somebody. So I, I pray to God that you're getting this thing because it's no use in us going any further <clears throat> if we don't get number one right. Are you all hearing this? And it's no use in, in, in saying, well, uh, I'll, I'll go to church and I'll put up with them and then I'm going home uh, and uh, where I'm okay. No, because if you don't love at the church, you don't love at home either. <laughs> no, no y'all didn't hear that. Amen. Amen. I said, did you hear that? See, love is pure. Love is kind. Come on. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can really talk about love. This is the reason why the 13th chapter of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, is so important for our lives. This is, this is the key. Amen? All right, now... <clears throat> So as we have uh, hit on that particular uh, a commentary uh, and we see uh, what the scholars are saying, um, even in their writings, if they don't love, they in trouble. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. Amen. All right. Now, yes. Please. Please. The have is the action, right? Yes. So this means that when you love, you have a relation. It's form, um, from fellowship and relationship. Yes. When you have Yahweh's and your relationship, yes. then you can love others. Yes. Because for you to love others, you have to love yourself. Yes. Because it's also in base and relationship. Yes. When we congregate and fellowship, we know each other. Yeah. If you don't know 
one of your sister and brother is because you have not had the opportunity to fellowship. With Amen. Him. So that was basically, and it's also connected um, with um, a gift. Yeah. Because love here, it says, um, you know, in the ancient Hebrew definition, it says to provide uh -huh. and protect that which is given as a privilege. Yes. It's also an intimacy of action and emotion. Ah. And it's also a strong affection for another arising from personal ties. Amen. And then remember that also the, the gift role in there, I've have, have, have is the word for yeah. gift. Yeah. So we should be able to give ourselves to each other, just so, as we do with Yahweh. Uh -huh. And that's where the oneness, because uh -huh. he and Yeshua is one, yes. and Yeshua prayed that we should be one. So we have to first check ourselves. Yes. Our that's loving key. ourselves and knowing who we are in the kingdom. Then yeah. we can love our brothers and sisters. That's right. It's no use in us going anywhere else or doing any other thing. And I don't care how many know that sometimes even in that wrong holiday, we give a lot of gifts. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, we know we don't love them, but we just give them something trying to fool them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that gift isn't worth nothing. All right. All right. I, I, anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. We ought to stop trying to live in Halloween all the time. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all didn't hear that. You can't hide behind a mask. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. Did y'all hear what I just said? Amen. You cannot hide behind something. You just can't do it. We got to be true. And when you're true and you're one with God, how many know God is not sick? And God can, who's on the inside of you, can help you who are well and healthy, heaven-wise, to get other people straight in their lives. Come on, I'm talking to all of us now. Amen. All of us. Amen. So we, can't, we cannot trick. Heaven is so pure. You understand what I'm saying? Until we can't fool people of heaven. Oh, no. The kingdom is here, folks. And we have authority to operate in this kingdom if if you are outside of this kingdom in character, uh, I don't care who we are. I don't care what my name is. Your name is not your stamp of approval. It is your character. Are you all hearing this? And this means you, you don't love yourself even more than others. What did he do when he came? When he wrapped himself in flesh? Come on now. What did he do? He gave himself. Come on now. Was that love? Was that a have? See? He gave himself. This is how we win. If you know somebody is sick and they hurt themselves, you go to them. The thing you do is you go to the spot where they've hurt themselves to try to help heal them, right? And it doesn't matter who they are. Amen. Because God helps us to be loving and kind to whomever. Amen? And so, this is the key to having this Holy Spirit, signs and wonders, to prove 
that God's word is true. That's, if you read the scriptures, you'll find out that's what it's all about. God proves his work. And he proves the one who worked the work. We call it faith. Y'all didn't hear that. Boy, that slipped right by some of us, right? <laughs> See, I said we call it what? But it is working the work. He gave us a commission to go and what? Yeah, go into all the world and yeah, and 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 to even heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leopard, do whatever. Why? Because of the fact of his love. Amen? Amen. And that sanctions the word that you've spoken out of your mouth that belonged to him. Because yes. everything come out of your mouth is love. Mm -hmm. Amen? Now look, we are taking a lot of time with this because we want to see. We have... Uh, uh, people in this church that's teaching on healing. We got people in this church that's praying. Um, we got people pretty soon that we're trying to work with that hopefully we can get this whole city in such a love that no one in this city, I know people don't talk like this, would be sick with COVID and nothing else. How many know you can have a city like that? Is the kingdom here or it's not here? The kingdom, the kingdom is here. So therefore, it's given to those who love to get it in line with heaven. Come on, somebody. And you have that authority. Amen. Amen. Praise God from Zion. It's just that simple. Yes. And also all of that. Talk, talk uh, uh, there. See, and all of that is uh, Yahweh said, and Yeshua also, if you love me, yeah. keep my commandments. Exactly. So it's teaching and commandments. We have to make sure it's aligned with what he taught. Yes. See, then all everything would, would just be functional. Yeah. With Because of... Um, Extending his word and teaching his word. Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's the key, see? Uh, we are one with God. He's on the inside of you. So therefore, uh, when you speak out of your mouth, he gave you the gift of speech also. Come on now. So when you speak, your spirit, he who's on the inside of you is spirit. Come on now. And when your spirit hear what you say, something happens. Because your voice speak to your spirit and carries this thing out. And therefore, healing occurs. Come on, somebody. All right. So I, I, I pray to God that... And the church has been lacking in this area because of one factor that I know of, and that is Ahav. Making sure that we love. Amen? Amen? Amen. Praise God from Zion. All right. Could we get that uh, next verse, please? All right. Oh, you already got it. Amen. It, uh, Acts 2, 4, 5, it says, And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to who? All men. All men. Well, well suppose uh, some of them got a problem. What did it say? It said all. 
See, you can bring healing to how many? To all if everybody began to get right with God. See, nobody will be left out. All men. And then it says, as every man had what? As if all needs will be taken good care of if we would just love. I mean, why are you all so quiet? I should have got some amen. Now, now the mass ain't that potent. Come on now that you can't say amen. Come on now. Now, we, 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 listen, until we get this, we might as well keep on playing games. Are, are you all hearing what I'm saying? You might as well act religious. Amen? This is the key. It must be driven home. This is the key to the day of Sheva Ott when it came into the world to help the church to save the world because he so loved the what? The whole world that he gave. It has nothing to do with what we look like, what we, it, it, that, that has nothing to do with it. No, it doesn't make any difference. You can come up with any kind of thing you want to. It's not pure enough. It's got to be done with a half. I, I pray you hear this. And sometimes we're trying to teach without talking about it, but we must take time. And begin to drive that home. Amen. So that we can see. God himself working in our midst. Amen. So much so. People cannot deny it. Amen. So I, 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 I just pray that. We would cut out the religious stuff. And get really down to the. Brass tax, the people used to tell me when I was young. That's been a little while ago. <laughs> Amen. All right. So, uh, another thing is that, would you start reading? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, 46. Give me 46, please. Okay. All right. I look to see a change up there, but they do it so smooth. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Acts 2.46, it says, And they continued daily with one accord in the temple, <clears throat> and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness, and what? With singleness of what? Of heart. This thing is pure, folks. It's got to be done. And listen, you can't hide it. I said you can't hide your love. You can hide some of that other stuff. You know, the opposite of that. But you can't hide your love because it oozes out of you like uh, good butter running out of hot bread. <laughs> Come on, somebody. And so this is, is, is such a, a great key that we are going to have to make sure that we understand. And I know uh, we haven't got very far today, but I hope. Did you get anything? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Huh? This, this is the key. I, I, I pray that we will take time and ask yourself, <clears throat> God, make me pure in this thing. Amen? Amen? Because as you begin to go from one place to another and touching your brothers and sisters and even speaking to them, they will even feel your tangible love. Are you hearing? 
Uh, where am I, Reg? Huh? Okay, all right. Uh, Y'all hear that? Well, I'm going to quit. <laughs> Amen. Well, I pray to God. Thank you so much. God bless you.